Long before it became a city, Covington was a savanna of grasslands and forests, of oak, hickory, maple, and elm. The trees grew to enormous heights, and to the north and east, a giant limestone rock formation jutting out from the shore defined by the Ohio and Licking Rivers. Flocks of passenger pigeons darkened the sky. Bears and packs of wolves flourished in what seemed like an endless pattern of rolling hills and valleys. Great herds of bison, elk, and deer carved out the land during their seasonal migration from the prairies of central Ohio to the salt springs and grazing lands of central Kentucky. These guys behind me are what their scientific name is bison bison and they are actually the modern descendants of ancient bison who were here at Big Bone during the Pleistocene, the late Pleistocene which would be sort of the late ice age in this area of the country. This was an area where they came because of the salt licks and the mineral licks in the area so you may have found a higher concentration in this area than you would have um, in other parts of this region solely because they came here for those necessary minerals and salts and they they got those either from licking the mineral clays around the salt springs or from drinking the water itself. All right, buddy. Trails and salt springs played a vital role in the early development of northern Kentucky. The Little Miami Big Bone Trace was popular with Native Americans. Their hunting parties learned the value of salt springs for attracting game. Tribes like the Shawnee and the Delaware used the point as a meeting place during hunting expeditions. Travel was easier because they could follow a clear path that was carved out of dense brush and thickets by the bison. It was an easy place for them because when the, the silt from the licking would flow out into the Ohio, it would cause a buildup of silt because of the two rivers flowing against each other. And, and it made an easy crossing for buffalo on their way to <laughs> licking salt at Big Bone and other places. So um, actually Greenup Street was paved by buffalo uh, in the beginning. So uh, because that's where they crossed the river. <laughs> 